I saw your reactions to that 3-1 defeat to Bournemouth. Oh, I think uh, the the score doesn't reflect the the game. It's true that they've been better than us, but it's uh, obvious that the, they've been working together for uh, I don't know how many years. They've been in, in Premier League, but uh, the main thing for me is that the team once again has competed against a, a very good team. So we did a, we made a, a big mistake on, on Wednesday uh, in the game against uh, Wycombe, but today we competed against them. Uh, we started the game well, uh, then when we considered a the goal, then we were trying to come back and we considered that silly goal, which uh, I think killed us. And then in the in the second half, uh, even uh, considering the, the third one, always we wanted to score the first, the second, and trying to, to equalize the, the game. So once again, the, the attitude of everybody has been brilliant and now we have two weeks to uh, recover players from their injuries, uh, players who are exhausted because uh, a lot of them has played a lot of a lot of games so i think it's a again again to to take the the good things it's a very honest assessment from you as a head coach do you sometimes just have to admit that you came up against the better team on the day yes and uh, it's uh, again it's impossible to no it's impossible because we competed against uh, against them but it's it's difficult to compete against a team which uh, has been working eight nine years in the same style a team which uh, has been in the Premier League the last uh, six, seven years with uh, all of the, their players uh, playing in, in Premier League. Uh, and for us, when we have arrived in at, uh, uh, two or three months ago and then to to try to to equalize the game and to to play as good as we could it was uh, it was difficult but again the, the main thing for me always the attitude is and i can't say anything bad because uh, they were brilliant players like mike keith and like munsi that uh, they hadn't played and they were ready to to play and they did their best were there key moments in the game bournemouth going two nil up before half time we had chances at one nil to get ourselves back and it's those fine margins in the game Yes, and especially against uh, those teams uh, that uh, punish you when uh, you don't score your uh, your chance, knowing that you are gonna, you are going to have a lot of chances. Those uh, in these games, uh, when when you don't score, you know that you are going to get uh, punished. But uh, again, it's uh, not uh, not uh, to say anything anything bad because uh, again the the players are doing amazing since uh, I arrived here. I think the, the atmosphere, the, the feeling is uh, completely different as uh, it was uh, three months ago. So we are in a in a good position. Uh, we can't forget. I said last uh, last game against Wickham, we can't forget where we were last uh, last year. And it's just to to think about the positive things and the togetherness and to to keep going. You talk about the positives. When Scott Hogan gets one back, the momentum was firmly with your side, and it seemed to shake Bournemouth for a 10-15 minute period. Yes, and uh, even uh, losing the game uh, at that time, we were trying to score the the second one, and uh, it's important for him to to score that uh, that goal because uh, you know he's a, a proper scorer, and always the first one is is the is the the most important. I knew that he was uh, disappointed when uh, when I took him off because he wanted to score the second and the the third, but I had to to take my my decisions, and uh, again, it's it's important that he has scored because especially for his confidence, it's going to be really really good. Sticking with the positives, there was no lack of belief out there with plenty of time left on the clock. Your players kept pushing, kept trying to get back into the game. You can see there's a togetherness amongst them. Yeah, I think it's uh, the main thing that the, that the togetherness uh, was on the sixth three months ago when, when I came here. Uh, and especially the first game. And uh, I said, and I will say a lot of times, that uh, it was an important game for, for me because I started to realise that I had to change a lot of things and uh, the, the, again the atmosphere, the, the spirit of the team, the togetherness I think is completely different. Players who didn't play well last year, they are playing amazing this, uh, this season and the players who have come this season are uh, helping us a lot. But now we have to understand again that a lot of players who have come this uh, year haven't done a proper pre-season. Players like Gaza, like Juki hadn't done the proper pre-season. So again, I think it's a, a moment to be not happy because I, I'm, uh, I'm never happy when uh, when I lose a game. But uh, the main thing is uh, to be positive. Caelan Boyd Munts came in for his first full league debut. No Christian Pedersen in the squad. How is he? He's better. 
he finished the game uh, a little bit dizzy last uh, last Wednesday, so he couldn't play today. But uh, with Munsi, I knew that when uh, I, w I was uh, gonna need him, he was gonna be good because he's the kind of kid that is always uh, ready. You don't need to tell him anything because you know that he's uh, he's ready. And I'm really pleased for him because uh, he could play and he could show that he can be part of the squad. You've complimented Michael Kiftenbelt's attitude as well, even when he's not been in the match day squad and he never lets you down. Top. Michael is a, a top professional. You know, you can like him as a player, you can't, but as a, as a manager, it's, uh, it's the player that you you love to have in your uh, in your team because uh, he's been uh, he was uh, doing an amazing preseason he played really well games like a uh, Tottenham game and then he didn't play one game he wasn't in the squads but you know he's another player where, who you know that when uh, he's going to play he's going to uh, try his his best international break now what's the priority over these next 2 weeks the priority is to recover uh, physically, mentally, recover the players who are uh, injured and uh, to keep that uh, togetherness on the training ground and to, to, I don't want to say to enjoy it because uh, the training sessions are enjo enjoyable but uh, uh, they, are, they are tough. But again, now we have uh, two weeks to, to work more on the, on the training pitch and it's going to be important. Right, as always, thanks for talking to us. Thank you.